Brooks Belanger here with B&B Drainage Solutions and today I'm going to be bringing you the first video in a new series that I'm going to title Drainage Quick Tips and in today's video we're going to have three quick tips. One will be pertaining to um, the use of solid PVC pipe and why I think it is a better product for the application of gutter downspout drain lines and then the other will be some information on why you never want to plug your sump pump into an extension cord and then last but not least is installing a catch basin around a driveway or walkway something you can do to ensure that you get maximum water flow into your catch basin and whenever you come off this gutter downspout you always want to come off either using a 22 bend or a 45 bend. This is a 45 bend that I have on there right now. There are times when you can't due to the foundation footer being there and you have to go with a 90 if you're trying to keep it below grade. Um, right here, I was able to um, use a 45. So, and the reason we wanna do that, and this goes back to the comment about uh, asphalt and using corrugated pipe. PVC pipe is smooth on the inside and there's a reason plumbers use solid PVC pipe and that's for good water flow but more importantly it's um, also good for pushing debris out and understand that a gutter is an entry point for debris into your drainage system. So anything we can do to push the debris out either into a catch basin or in this case into a sump area, we definitely want to do that. And using PVC pipe allows that to be done. So there's the difference between PVC pipe and corrugated pipe. You just don't get good debris push out using corrugated. And what you see a lot of people do whenever they... Uh, this is not actual corrugated pipe, it's one of those extensions, but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. It is corrugated. The ridges on this one are more pronounced. Whenever they install it, they like to go straight down and make a real hard 90. And when they do that, they're creating a pinch point and they, with these ridges and that pinch point, that 90, you, there are any debris, especially asphalt from the roof shingles it just always gets caught in there granted it takes maybe a couple of years maybe more than that but believe me over time this will get clogged so you know that's the problem with uh, corrugated pipe and due to these ridges you just don't get good debris movement through the system okay so that's enough of that. So let's another quick tip right here relates to your sump pump and the electrical outlet that you connect it to. There's two important things here. One, you do not want to run a sump pump on an extension cord. You also don't want to plug in a sump pump into an outlet shared with other electrical appliances. You need to have your own dedicated outlet for your sump pump and the reason you don't want to run it on an extension cord or share it with other electrical appliances is that your sump pump will receive low voltage and then it has to draw more amps to run and when it does that it causes the sump pump to run hotter which can cause it to fail prematurely so an extension cord is just a short-term um, fix or solution depending on what um, you're trying to do but in the long run you should make sure that you have a dedicated outlet for your sump pump and if anyone tells you anything other than what I just said you can tell them that Brooks Belanger with BNB Drainage Solutions says it ain't so and you can google it to prove that what I say is so. It's worth a Google. So right here we have a catch basin set at the 
corner of a driveway and the walkway entrance and what I want to show you what I like to do whenever I'm placing a catch basin next to a driveway or a walkway and the purpose of it being here is trying to catch the water that's shedding off of the driveway or the walkway lots of times what happens this one does have it but it's not that bad there's overpour right here this one's actually probably one of the better ones that I've seen but there's typically overpour and you can't butt your catch basin up to the driveway due to the overpour and what I see a lot of guys do is they'll take the catch basin and they'll tilt it towards the driveway or walkway trying to get the edge up against it or they'll tilt it this way and we really don't want to do that we want our catch basin to sit nice and level and that way we're making sure that we're catching water from this side this side and also from the lawn and in order to do that catch basin has to sit level so what we're going to do is clean these edges up as best as possible and then we're going to pour some cement around these edges and slope it towards our catch basin and that way we can ensure that the water is being shed into our catch basin and that our catch basin remains level. So let me clean this up and uh, we'll start doing that. Anyway, there it is, all done. I took the liberty to go ahead and cement this root in there like a dum dum. But this is the way I like to do it around concrete. Um, I'm not saying this is the way you have to do it, it's just the way I like to do it. Because typically, what happens around the sidewalks and driveways is when they poured. They got some overpour from their form, and then you can't butt your catch basin all the way up to the driveway or walkway. Yeah, you can sit there and chisel it and break it, but that's a pain in the butt. Or you can do like other people, you start tilting the catch basin trying to reach it. Don't do that. That's just, that ain't cool. That ain't, that ain't legit. That ain't the real deal. This right here is the real deal. So there's your three drainage quick tips on the last one feel free to make fun of my concrete work I am NOT a concrete guy important thing to understand here what we're trying to do is just ensure that that water flows into the catch basin like I said I've seen a lot of guys tilt them or they do offset it from the driveway or walkway and you just cannot pack the dirt between that small space well enough and eventually over time it gets worked out and then the water isn't flowing into the catch basin so hope you found these three quick tips useful and any questions any comments or any thoughts on how you would go about it feel free to leave them below uh, believe me you don't have to this channel you don't have to agree with anything that we do you're free to express your opinions and i like that that's what youtube's all about until next time i will talk to you then take care and as always thanks for watching